We were born before the wind Also young in the sun Yeah, the bonnet boat was warm As we sailed in Hark now to hear the sailors cry Smell the sea and feel the sky Let your soul and your spirit fly Into the mist When that fog horn blows That fog horn blows. I wanna hear it. I don't have to fear it now. I wanna rock your gypsy soul. Just like way back in the days, boy. If it's in Lee, we will flow. This is going to be a real, what I'm going to call a down and dirty tutorial. Um, not like I typically do for six string country. This is just my own arrangement of Into the Mystic. And I'm just going to show the basic groove. Um, I've gotten some requests for this song, but I know uh, most of you are not looking to learn my music. You're looking to learn other people's music and get better at the guitar. The other thing this is going to accomplish though is I use the G bender in that bridge solo. So I'm just going to go over the basic groove. Then we'll go over the bridge solo, which has got the G bender use. Um, which is this matinee bender I have in this kind of Telecaster style guitar um, that I kind of assembled. All right, so here's the basic groove. We're just going to slide in. And then we're on to 
the C bar chord. So that much is um, sliding in, three, five, three of A, and then a kind of a muted note, then fifth fret of A, to three, five of low E, three of low E, then roll your pointer finger over, you got the third fret of the A string there, and then finish the C bar chord. So one, two, three, four, one, two. Then we do this. All right, so we're just sliding up from this bar, five to seven, and then bar the fifth fret of uh, G and B. I've got my pick on the D string, clucking the G and B string. So we're hammering on to seven and six here, back down, and then five to seven, and then you're back to the C bar chord. All right, so, so far we've got. Now you can groove it again. Just what we learned. Okay? That's actually the groove for the whole thing, all right? Um, you don't, I, what I'm doing is just that kind of stuff. And I'm just riffing in the key of C. And these double stops on the G and the high E string, like this is, you know, that's a C double stop. And we've got another C there, C there. So I'm just kind of playing around with those. I'm going to get to G's. Right, so that's a lot of it is just those double stops on the G and the high E string. And then the rest of it is just kind of this pentatonic box shape combined with, you know, that kind of stuff. So it would take forever. I'm just literally just riffing during that part. I, it's not like a solidified guitar part that I would necessarily play exactly the same way live. Um, so for the sake of time here, you've got the groove. When we get to that B section, it's just, um, Then you can go back to the C riff. D minor bar chord, E minor, then drop all your other fingers, but stay on that seventh fret. To the F bar chord, then you go on the G. All right, then you're kind of building into the chorus. Ah want to rock your gypsy soul. We're going to do my same move. Then you're back into the groove. Right? All right, and of course, then we go to the G chord again. And that's all it is. It's a very simple song. Um, we just want it to feel good. We want to, we want to let it flow a little bit and throw some riffs in there, okay, using the key of C. Then let's get to this bridge solo. All right, it, it starts like this. Let's get just that much. All right, so again, this, these are familiar box shapes, right? We're going right here, um, seven of G to the B string, eight, uh, back to nine there, and then hammer on from eight to 10 on B, back down to eight, and then a quick nine to seven on G, and then one more time, pull it off to five, uh, seven of D down to five, and five of G. Okay, that's the intro. I'm sorry. And then here's where the G bender comes in. What we're trying to do is, that can be kind of hard to do because we want to get this eighth fret of high E too. So that's why the G bender is nice. You, I'm just setting my fingers on seven of G, eight of B, and I'm pushing down on my strap and mechanically bends it for me. And then my pinky's already right there. Sorry, I wasn't holding it. All right, so we've got the bend there. We push down again. And then we've got high E string, G, B, down. Pull it off to five, seven of D, and then back to the five of G. So. All 
right, so that little next riff is five to seven, back to five, D string, seven, five, seven, five of G. And then we do the same thing. Then we're into the next G bender riff, all right? Let's get that slide up, because we're kind of heading up to that position three diatonic in the key of C now. So we're doing this. Uh, so. Okay. Now slide up to nine to seven. Up to eight to 10 on B. Then slide nine all the way up to 12. A G, 10, 13 on B, pull off. 12, up to 14 on G, and then we got 14 of G, 15 of B, G bender. So I do the 14, 15, G bender, sneak my uh, middle finger onto the uh, 13th fret of high E to make a nice G7. And then pick high E, G, B, G, come back down to 12, 14 of D, and then I've got this riff. Alright, so we're coming off the G riff. Then we do this. Alright. So we're on. That's just uh, 12, 13, real quick, back to 12. Then 14, 12. Uh, I gotta do a full tempo. So we go. Then here, the 14th fret of D, roll it back and cluck that 14th fret of G back to D, 12 of G. So, so far it's. And then we go 14, 12. Um, uh, tw then down to 10, then 12 of A to 10 of A. And then two more slides from 12 to 14 on D. And then, so we did two slides. Quick slide back down, 14, 12, 10, 12 of A, and back to 10 of D. Okay, so it's. And then, to get back into the song, uh, to the B section. Okay, so we're sliding in uh, five to seven on D. A little ghost note on seven of D. Then I'm doing the G bender again here. Seven of G, back down. So we have. Then back to seven to five. Seven to five on D. And then a quick hammer on five to seven. Pull it off real quick to seven of uh, A, then. So that's the fifth fret hammering on the seven of the A string. So real slow. All right. And then we're into that B section. Let's hit that solo one more time. Um, kind of fluidly without me babbling over the whole thing. So here it goes. Uh, starting from the top. And that is the bridge solo and kind of the basic gist of the song, folks. So, um, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, thanks for listening to uh, my music and my record. And, you know, if we get enough 
interest, maybe someday I'll do the outro solo too, but hopefully that's a good place to start for you.